Rieccoci in campo con Brian Balsiger per la Svizzera e Dubai du Bois Pinchet. Have you got her la palla di 12 ear. anni da Kashmir van Schutashof. Andiamo. Allora, riprendiamo dopo metà gara, dopo sei percorsi netti, qualificati per il barrage, <coughs> vediamo mm? questa seconda parte della gara, se ne verranno altrettanti. Dunque, se avevamo dei dubbi right. per, Shall I bring us in, then? per pochi percorsi yeah. netti, probabilmente adesso ne avremo right. What we got? abbastanza per fare un bellissimo barrage, un bellissimo spettacolo. Good evening and welcome to the Reggiano Siciliano Grand Prix here in Verona. We joined the competition just after the arena maintenance break. We've had 22 of the 44 competitors coming forward for this Grand Prix. Not just a very important competition in itself, but also 11 places for qualifying for the Longin FEI Jumping World Cup on Sunday. I'm Phil Gazzalo and alongside me, I have got Alice Watson. I'm delighted to say Let's just give you, whilst we're watching Bram Bolsiger um, jumping, Alice, let's just quickly recap from the first half. We have got five clears, six clears so far. Christian Alman. Christian Alman for Germany. Piers Schwitzer with WH Delilah. Carlos Lopez from Colombia. Christian Kukuk for Germany and for France. Simon de Lester with a wonderful 16-year-old Hermes Ryan. And Will and Grev. For Netherlands with a wonderful nine-year-old Highway MTN. Now jumping, Bram Bolsinger. Well, Alice, we didn't manage to see the first of the um, earlier rounds going. Giuliano Venzani. Velocissimo 69.09 here. Um, Just posted per la four faults. For Switzerland. Riding Dubai. Dubois Piché. Peccato per la penalità che gli preclude l'accesso al barrage, ci proverà invece adesso Budrum Paté per il Belgio in stella Sikos Pebbles 7, cartone so di 15 anni. Okay. Apologies if you were expecting to see from the start of the competition, that was very much the, uh, the remit for this evening, but there were a few technical issues in Verona. And now we're back up and running. Good run, Petit, for Belgium, with Seacoast Pebbles Z. A 15-year-old, Zangazana Bred, well-known combination, these two, on the international circuit. Paddled and tried to clear it, kicked out the back rail, almost trying too hard. Short five strides to that flimsy plank, just catches that behind as well. Adesso ha recuperato per l'ultima verticale che supera. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Belgio. Due gli errori da Messina, parte della nostra Entering the arena now for the United States of America and a winner already. This already today in Jessica Springsteen. Well, apologies if you're watching, the picture has gone black. 
here so we actually can't see any of the action so bear with us apologies that we can't bring you Jessica Springsteen's and Don Juan van der Donkova at Olympic ride Jessica who won the two phase on her 14 year old Tiger Lily earlier today Well, welcome back, Jess Springsteen. And welcome back, our viewers. And they've been on brilliant form this summer. Jessica already describing him as her horse of a lifetime. And he is just showing us why. Look, perfect round. Look, perfect round for Jessica Springsteen. Goes in to the jump off, and Jessica very importantly for Jess Springsteen, the one looking for one of those 11 qualification places for the World Cup on Sunday. But that puts her in the jump off, that makes it clear. Number seven, Jessica Springsteen with Don Juan van der Donkova goes clear. <laughs> Noi andiamo avanti perché adesso la firma è quella di Kevin Stout per la Francia in sella Toledo Mescamar Tour. Now for France. Now France we have oh, 11th in the world. Kevin, Kevin Stout. Stout. Riding Toledo the Mescamar Tour. Kevin Stout tra l'altro in questo momento detiene l'undicesima posizione nell'importante Longines Ranking Mondiale. Cavaliere francese in sella la femmina di 14 anni da Mylord Cartago. Combination jumped in the World Cup qualifier last weekend in Lyon. Lovely 14 year old gelding by Mylord Cartago. And he is. Really well, shortens up nicely. The vertical in the middle of the combination looks really relaxed today. That is very short, that five strides to the plank. He really respected that, respected it. We have another through. Another through to the jump off. That's clear. Number eight, Kevin Stout for France. Goes clear with Lloyd de Mescama Hopkall. Kevin Stout qualificato al barrage senza errori e senza problemi. Il suo Toledo de Mescama Arcourt non commette errori e si qualifica la fase finale del premio regione siciliana. The round where we're not qualified for the jump off. The eighth qualified to Lloyd Kevin Stout. La femmina di 11 anni Castel Memo è il cavallo che presenta per la Germania Kendra Clarissa Brinkop da Thunder van de Zuitove e da una figlia di Cicero Z. Riding for Stephex Stables. Representing Germany, Kendra Clarissa Brinkop with the 11 year old mare Castel Memo. Another combination that we saw last week at Lyon. Castel Memo, an 11 year old mare by Thunder van der Zoothover, Cicero.
looking like she really gained a lot of experience last week. She's come back looking much more relaxed and at home. Ah, oh, spoke too soon. That is a tricky line. Horses are sort of cutting the corner, making that short distance even shorter. But this horse is improving all the time. One finished down, four folds for Kendrick Arisa Brinkop and Castel Memo. Arriviamo adesso dopo i 27 partenti, quindi rimangono 8 i barrage, ma signore e signori, il cavaliere che vedete in campo in questo momento detiene la seconda posizione nella Longing Ranking mondiale ed è con noi per la Germania. Seconds is the time allowed as the world number 2 comes into the arena here in Verona. Just a couple of the 27 competitors have already come in, have got a time penalty. So, but looking at the, the last two or three that have gone, Alice, you know, we're nearer 70 seconds than, than 75 or 76. So it looks quite comfortable, doesn't it? So they've got time. Daniel Deusser with Jasmine van der Bishop. Extravagant over the vertical. Huge jumps through the double. This lovely twelve year old mare, Lorino Chinchin lines. Skip down there. Really putting on a show. Just came a little bit wider and got really straight to that plank. Just gave himself a little bit more room. Set her up nicely. Well, he's gone into the jump off. He's a former winner of this Grand Prix here in Verona. Daniel Deusser for Germany goes clear with Jasmine van der Bishop. That makes it nine clears from the 28 competitors of the 44 that have come forward. For this, the first of the two rounds of the Regioni Siciliani Grand Prix. Premio safe riding, gara di apertura di quest'oggi, con la quarta posizione finale ha concluso la Mazzone che è partita in questo momento per la Svezia, Petronella Andersson in sella da Lita O. Now for Sweden, Petronella Andersson with the nine-year-old Halita Zero. The earlier... And another ride, a fourth in the two phase. Just nine years old, Halita. By Eldorado. Out of a heartbreaker mare. Looking much older than her years. Really deserve that. Eh, quattro le penalità da parte di Petronella. Last round from the nine year old, just the one fence down, so four faults for Petronella Anderson and Halit De Zero for Sweden. Trentesimo concorrente verso i 44 totali che ricordo affrontano nel complessivo il primo giro del premio Regione Siciliana. Already in the money today, one of ten Italians competing in this Grand Prix. Lucario Pisani. 
with the 12-year-old stallion Chaclot. And this combination jumps in brilliant rounds over the summer in the Nations Cup series on the Italian team. She has such a wonderful technique. By the great Shaco Blue. But perfect through the combination. A little rub on the front bar. The oxa, just a little tap. Don't think he's gone near anything else. And that's a great clear. That's cheered up the crowd here in Verona as Ricardo Pisani goes clear with the 12 year old Chaclot. That is clear, number 10. 10 through to the jump off, 30 of the 44 in the first round of Gone. Con la firma di Riccardo e dello stallone Chaclot nel primo giro. Qualifying also Chaclot and Riccardo Pisani in full jump. Stagione agonistica straordinaria per il binomio che partirà adesso e affronterà il primo giro di gara. L'allievo agente della polizia di Stato, Francesca Ciriesi, per l'Italia in stella alla sua Cape Coral. Già medaglia d'argento nella stagione 2020 nel campionato d'Italia assoluto proprio in sella all'11 anni femmina da Camille Po che affronta il percorso base di questa gara di oggi. Former young rider for Italy. Team bronze medal in the European Championships as a young rider. an Arab. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a shame. Exuberance sort of let her down. That back bar kicking out. As she did there again. Feisty little mare. Sono due gli errori commessi in 70-03 per la prestazione di Kate Corral che chiude. So two fences down for Francesca Siriesi with Kate Corral. Eight volts. E adesso signori con i colori della Spagna lo vedete in campo ed è pronto ad affrontare la gara. Sergio Alvarez Moya in sella ad Alamo. The sole representative for Spain, Sergio Averimoye, with the 13-year-old gelding that needs no introduction to the Longin FEI Jumping World Cup. Alamo, former winner of the final of the World Cup with Steve Gerdat in the saddle, now being ridden by Sergio Averimoye for Spain. Not sure I'd like to follow Steve. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think you'd turn him down, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think many would. jointly by Sergio with Sergio Ramos of Real Madrid fame.
I think Sergio Ramos is the most capped uh, national footballer for, for Spain. Spain. Yeah. And pops over the last and showing his quality, both the rider and the Equan athlete. Sergio Avermore Alamo make it clear, number 11. Great clear from the Spaniard. Soddisfazione di Sergio Alvarez Moya per la qualifica al barrage. E anche quella di Sergio Ramos, calciatore del nazionale spagnolo, che è il comproprietario proprio di questo fantastico cavallo che si realizza da uno dei possibili carri protagonisti di questa edizione di Giardino. E quindi un barrage sempre più interessante per la parte finale del premio Regione Siciliana. Quello che affronterà adesso il cavaliere irlandese Mark McCauley in sella a Kate West. Now to Ireland. Mark McCauley. Che proprio nella gara precedente. Nine year old Galvi. Cap West. Mark who was second earlier in the one meter fifty class earlier today. That was another nine year old. O'Hara ELS. Rub off the back part. He's really putting in some huge jumps, but in a really relaxed and confident manner. Mark's building up a really strong team of horses. It's going to be a force to be reckoned with over the next couple of years with this young team coming through. Yet another by the by Shaco Blue jumping at this top level. And another clear. So that's a great clear for Mark McCauley. He's having a great day. Mark McCauley goes clear with Cap West. Clear number 12. Mancano 10 percorsi alla conclusione del primo giro del premio Regione Siciliana. Il prossimo ad affrontarlo per il Brasile, Pedro Jonqueira Mulher. Now for Brazil, Pedro Jonqueira Mulher with Pembroke. Pedro Jonqueira, Pembroke. Short four stride distance, actually riding really well. And the combination's ridden well, too, the horses that we've seen go. Yeah. Nothing disastrous. A rub at the plank, but it stayed on the the cup. So that's a clear for Brazil. Pedro Junquire Maliat and Pembroke make it clear number twelve here. Number 13, I should say, in the Grand Prix here in Verona. Per il cavaliere brasiliano arriva il tredicesimo percorso netto da parte di Pedro Giuncella e di Pembroke. Le run qualified for the jump off, Pembroke. E adesso invece il cavaliere che nella gara di apertura e prima gara di quest'oggi è andato a partecipare alla cerimonia di premiazione ottenendo la quinta posizione della classifica finale lui per la Gran Bretagna è Sami Eldahan now for Great Britain former rider for Egypt Sami Eldahan with Wicked 
Enigma. Nine-year-old Holstein mare. And Alice, you were saying it, it, it changed to British nationality just a couple of months ago, is that right? Yes, just, just over the summer. His former compatriot, Abdel Saeed, also changed. Uh, just the frustrating four faults for Jack Whitaker and Ellie Carbee. Tredici barrage sino a questo momento percorso base che sta volgendo al termine. Il prossimo concorrente il cavaliere di Wilmeyer in sella a Wilmeyer with the 12 year old stallion Joyride S. Joyride è un cavallo di 12 anni, è un cavallo che nasce da Toulon. Wilmeyer Caught out by that front rail and those short four strides. Didn't quite make the stretch going into the double. Belgium looking for their first clear in this Grand Prix. They've got six representatives, Bill Vermeer being the fifth of those six. So down to Zoe Conta will be in next to keep Belgium's hopes alive in the Grand Prix. She just ran him into the bottom of that plank a little bit, but 
very athletic to get out. And three down, 12 volts for Vilvermeer and Joyride S for Belgium. So we stay with Belgium. Seven left to jump in this Regioni Siciliani Grand Prix. Seven of the 44 still to go. Tw 13 clears already into the jump off. Now for Belgium, Zoe Conta with Dawa de Green Bay. Sang the side of bread, nine year old stallion. Fifth earlier today in the 1 meter 50 class on Marbel. Zoe Conta looking for a qualification for the World Cup qualifier on Sunday. Son of Diorado. Got some experience last week in Lyon. In the World Cup qualifier. Looking very confident today, this nine year old. Got a little bit forward into that plank and then had to really stretch coming out for the oxer. Just caught that behind. Little green mistake. What a lovely horse. Eh, quattro le penalità per la gara di Zoe Conterra ed un errore in 71 e 91. And another one with just the one down. So Zoe Conter, four faults with Doa de Green Bay. Z. Nella parte conclusiva, nella parte conclusiva di questa gara per lei. Finished just behind Zoe Conta in the 150 earlier today with a nine year old highway. Is our next competitor representing Uruguay? Martin Rodrigo Vani, the 10 year old Hanoverian gelding, Quedo. Cavaliere Uruguayano è il 39 della lista. Deliberate jumps down that line, really backs off his fence and spends a bit of time in the air. Made the stretch nicely, coming into the double. Drifting left a little bit through the combination. Cause him any, any problems. Just want to. He made really sure he stayed straight after that oxer, didn't let him drift left down that line, but then another to catch that back bar of the oxer following. Un errore il tempo commessi da parte di Martin. That was the last indeed, but it stayed there. But the one time penalty to just over that 76 seconds time allowed, but also that fence down. So five faults in all for Martin Rodrigo Varni for Uruguay with.
Quado. Third of the three riders representing Great Britain, John Whitaker with Unique to Frank Port. Pubblico di Verona, con noi c'è il grande Brett Gilding. Already with a qualification for the Longin FEI Jumping World Cup on Sunday. Presented Great Britain at over 20 World Cup finals. A member of the British team that took the Challenge Cup at the Barcelona Nations Cup final last month. And been on great form in the Grand Prix and Global Tour over the summer, this combination. Big stretch. Did that very nicely. And down to the last. Will this be a clear for Great Britain? It is indeed. That is clear number 14 in the Reggiano Siciliano Grand Prix here. And John Whitaker with Unique du Frankport go through into the jump off. Con grandi nomi e grandi protagonisti che non mancano mai qui a Jumping Verona anche per l'edizione 2021. Si qualifica al barrage il grande John Whitaker. Now for France, Julien Gona with Valu Dully. Now representing France, we have four horses to go. Valu Dully and Julien Gona. with two representatives in the jump off and two former world number ones in Kevin Stout and Simon de Lestra. It's the top on there, giving everything plenty of height, going in a Fairly typical French manner with a, the way she likes to poke her nose. Stick her head up a bit coming into a fence. See what she's doing. Julian just letting her run and jump. And down to the last. This could be the third clear for France. Oh no, it's gone! So, France, the two clears, that was four faults for Julien Gonard and Valu Dully. Rider to come, that'll be Julien Anquita. Next rider in, in fact, there he is. Adesso è ancora la Francia, ma a partire sarà Julien Anquita in sella Blood Diamond du Pont. So, Julien Anquita. Blood Diamond Dupont. Dupont. Already qualified for a big class on Sunday. He's going sideways around the corner. Blood oh. Diamond. Very keen to get on with his job. Very exciting ten year old gelding by Demont de Semily, is the name that it suggests. Oh. 
Jas couldn't quite make the stretch to get out. Looked like he got a little bit to the bottom of the oxer. And he completes with the one fence down. Julien Anquetin, four faults with Blood Diamond Dupont. Two to go in this, the first round of the Rioni Siciliani Grand Prix here in Verona. 44 have come forward. We've got 14 clears so far. Two left to jump. First of those two. World number 12 for Austria. Max Kuhner with ELC Coriolis de Il. Has shot up a few places in the world rankings in the last month. Good weekend. Last weekend in Lyon with Electric Blue. Fifth, sixth, sorry, in the uh, in the Grand Prix and third in the World Cup qualifier. Today he rides this nine-year-old. By Zandor, same sire as John Whitaker's unique de Frankport. Very impressive so far. Problems hearing the back bar there. And just down to the last, and no problems with the 76 seconds time allowed, and no problems with the plank at the last. So that is a clear for Austria, clear for Max Kuhner, EIC Coriolis de Il, clear number 15. One competitor left to jump into the arena in Verona comes the world number one in the Longines world rankings, Peter Fredrickson with H&M Christian K. Perché a chiudere il tutto è il cavaliere oggi numero uno al mondo, Peter Fredrickson per la Svezia. In sella the ancient dam, Christian Cavaliere che detiene la leadership in discussa della Lonsa. Well, what a treat for the crowd in Verona to have the world number one here this weekend. Team gold medalist at the Olympic Games. Individual bronze at the recent European Championships, just, just a month after the Olympic Games. Christian Kate, 14 years old now. Not getting any bigger either. Less are Calvados lines. Looking very keen. And just the last for the world number one. Up and over, and that's clear. Clear number 16 in Verona for the Regioni Siciliana Grand Prix. We are in for a great jump off here tonight in Verona. Let's just have a quick look 
at the clears that are going through before we have a small break whilst they prepare the jump off course. The clears in the Regione Sinziale Grand Prix for Germany, Christian Elman. Pierre Schwitzer for Switzerland, Carlos Lopez Lizario for Colombia, Christian Kukuk, Germany's second competitor in the jump off. For France, Simon de Lesbra with the wonderful 16 year old Hermes Ryan. Willem Greb with his wonderful nine year old Highway MTM. They were clear number six. Jessica Springsteen now assuring her place this weekend in the Longin FEI Jumping World Cup. Kevin Stout for France, he's clear. Daniel Deusser, world number two for Germany, into the jump off, as is Riccardo Pisani for the Italian crowd here in Verona. For Spain, Sergio Avoye Moye, Mark McCauley for Ireland, Brazilians Pedro Junquira Male, John Whitaker for Great Britain, Max Kuna for Austria, and Pedro Fredriksson for Sweden. That is the 16 in the jump off of the Regioni Siciliani Grand Prix. We'll be back in a few moments' time once they have prepared the course. Uliano Vizzani, the course designer here in Verona. Be back in a few moments. I'm just going to nip inside yep. and I want to just get, because as you're rushing off, because I was going to sit down and talk bottles to you for an hour <laughs> over a bottle of wine, oh. but we'll do that another time. So yeah. I want to just nip inside and, and um, get your I don't know how long we've got. We've probably got two or three minutes. Okay, I'll move to the market. Okay. There's a hundred quid in oh, there. Oh, bless you. Thank you very much. Well, bless you for being here. So we've got no, we've got absolutely, we've got no prize giving.
Bene, ci siamo, è arrivato il momento del barrage finale, quello che accadrà tra poco sarà un Jump off of the Reggiano Siciliano Grand Prix, 16 clears from the first round. First in the arena will be world number two and the last man in the arena will be world number one. What an evening for the crowd in Verona. First to go. Christian Arman with Mandate of Van der Neerheide. First round set by Uliana Vizzani, Italian course designer, 44 in the first round and 16 clears. Quite a generous time allowed too, wasn't it, Alice, in the yes. first round? Yeah, none of the clears clear jumping rounds got caught out by the time we were all comfortably inside. Christian Armand for Germany. Mandato van der Neerheide. We start over number two backwards. Run down to number one backwards. Back around to part A of what was the double. B and C of the combination. Really tight back there to that oxen. Just a nine year old this. Replace the plank with a pole. That was a super start. That was clear for Christian Almond, world number two. He stops the clock in 35. 35.61 Christian Alman and Andato van der Neerheide. That was a very impressive round. Incredible angles from just a nine year old. Very versatile indeed. For Switzerland, Pierre Schwitzer, WH Delilah. Very tight back to that. What was the combination? Inside 35.61 is just a second or so, 0.9 of a second outside that time into second place. Goes Pierce Fitcher 36.55 with WH Delilah. Secondi e 55 non commette errori più Schwitzer, ma si porta alle spalle di Christian Alman con questo risultato. Clear and 36.55. Adesso signori per la Colombia c'è in campo Carlos Lopez in sella da Mara. So Pishvitsa and, and also Carlos Lopez is in the arena, both qualified now for the World Cup on Sunday, but focused on the jump off tonight in Verona. Carlos Ulrico Lopez with Admara. 16 year old. Kelly Admara. Seven strides there, that was the distance in the first round. Pierce and Christian motored down in six. It's a shorter striding horse. Oh, great turn down to the final oxer. Yeah. He's very quick indeed. He stops the clock in 34.38. We have a new leader. Carlos Enrique Lopez, Lizarrazzo, goes in to the lead. Despite taking that extra stride to the second fence. 34.98. That is the new time to beat. Three of the 16 competitors gone. Checker. 
Adesso il cavaliere tedesco Christian Cucco che affronterà il barrage parte conclusiva della gara e vi ricordo che appunto abbiamo assistito al percorso più veloce del cavaliere colombiano. For Germany, Christian Cucco with the 11 year old girl in Cheka. Maybe fifth in the World Cup at Oslo a couple of weeks ago. Very fast time and just the last fence going in the jump off. We'll be looking to make amends. Again, gets, goes, opts for the extra stride, turns really tight back afterwards. Very neatly through there. Just a little rub on the back bar coming out. Really moted round that corner. Very smooth on the really, corners. Yeah. 34.98. He's over. He lands. It's 35.99. 35.99 for Christian Kukuk and Checker for Germany. In to third place, they go. Current leader, Carlos Enrique Lopez with Admara, 34.98. Just went a little bit wider to the last fence, giving it a little bit more respect. And Current leader, Carlos Enrique with the 16-year-old of Mara. Now another 16-year-old, the wonderful Hermes Ryan with Simon de Lestre for France. Gets the seven strides, turning before he even takes off. Great shot into the combination six strides there oh, oh. It's gone. just didn't quite get the line between that and the oh, what? that was a very quick round but just that one fence down for Simon de Vestre and Hermes Ryan so it, four faults 35.02 we'll put them in to Tanto vi informo che questa sera at the moment just got the notification that Jessica Springsteen has withdrawn from the jump off. She's still qualified though for the London FEI Jumping World Cup on Sunday and she's already a winner of a class this week, Jessica Springsteen. So reserving her fuel for Sunday. 15 left in the jump off. Five have gone. Current leader, 34.98 for Colombia, Carlos Lopez. Now for the Netherlands. Willem Grev with the nine-year-old stallion, Highway MTN. Another nine-year-old nine stallion. Lovely shot. Just moving around the corner. And again, just gets the perfect forward distance that he wanted. This is quick. This is very quick indeed. This is very special. Willem Grieve flies over the last. He's into the lead! Willem Grave for the Netherlands goes into the lead with Highway MTN 34.74. That's an exciting prospect, Alice, that nine year old. So, Willem Grave, Highway MTN 34.74, new leader in Verona in the Grand Prix. Adesso per la Francia invece sarà la volta di Kevin Stout in sella Toled Rescam Arcour. That will take some beating. Now to France, Kevin Stout with Toled de Mescam Arcour.
So Kevin Stout puts the first part of what is now a double on the ground, leaving Willem Grave still in the lead with eight left to jump here in the Rigioni Siliani Grand Prix. So Kevin Stout, four faults, 36.76 into seventh place. Signori, andiamo avanti. Il barrage del premio Regione Siciliana prosegue e prosegue con un altro grande protagonista. Adesso andiamo a seguire Daniel Doisa, former winner of this Grand Prix here in Verona. For Germany, Jasmine van der Bishop. Four point seven four. That's a perfect shot into that oxer, takes it on the angle, keeps moving round to what was the combination. So smooth. It's going very, very fast indeed as the world number two. He pops over. He lands the last. 36.1. So doesn't trouble the time set by Willem Grave. Into fifth place goes Daniel Deusser, Jasmine van der Bishop. Bishop. 36.10. Into fifth place. E adesso pubblico di Verona, l'unico cavaliere azzurro ha messo al barrage. Ha bisogno del vostro applauso. È Riccardo Pisani. Well, a slightly larger cheer from the home crowd here in Verona as Riccardo Pisani and Chaclot commence their jump off course. Still the leader, Willem Grev, 34.74. Just ran out of momentum there, wasn't it, yeah, off that bend? Just hung around the corner a little bit. Just couldn't quite get him where he wanted him. 38.69 with the four faults for Riccardo Pisani and Chaclot. Six left to go from the 15 that have come forward for the jump off of the Grand Prix. For Spain, sole representative for Spain here in Verona this weekend, Sergio Averimoye with the 13-year-old Alamo. Noi lo ricordiamo ancora una volta questa sera, festa dei cavalieri da non perdere assolutamente. Cavalieri accompagnatori sono invitati nell'ingresso all'ingresso a uno del Pala Expo di Verona Fiere. Questa sera, insieme, per festeggiare Jumping Verona 2021. He is really motoring. Great shot and keeps moving around the corner. See up here. And he's quick. He gaps to the last. Moving. On the band, this is looking very good indeed for Sergio Vomay. 35.5. So close for Sergio Avoimoya and Alamo, clear in 35.5, into third place, five to go. Current leader, Willem Grebs, still holding on with that lovely nine-year-old Dutch Bread Highway MTN, 
point seven four their time. Already in the money with a second place in the 150 class earlier today for Ireland, Mark McCauley. For the nine year old Oldenburg Gelding, Cap West. Bit far off that oxa. Yeah, just a Again, just just nine years old, much bigger, bigger horse. And two down eight folds for Mark McCauley with Cap West for Ireland. As soon as that last horse has jumped, you go. I'll finish here. Yeah, I want you to go in your car. You've got 170 miles to drive. And I know how many miles it is exactly to where you're going. So you just get, obviously nip to the loo, take that bottle of water and get in your car and go, okay? Thank you And I'll get, I'll sort this out. And I'll see you on Sunday. And I'll see you on Sunday. Yeah. For Brazil, Pedro Unquera Malat with Pembroke. Not always the easiest looking with his head. Just got a little argumentative and unsettled coming into the double. Huge jump over the last, but three fences down earlier on in the jump off course. So 12 faults and all for Pedro Unquera Malet and Pembroke for Brazil. Three left to go. John Whitaker, Max Guna, world number one. Peter Fredriksen for Sweden. Current leader for the Netherlands, the only Dutch rider in the competition this evening, Willem Greve with Highway MTN. 34.74, the time that they have set. And Alice, as you said earlier, it's always good news when you've got John Whitaker of Great Britain in a jump off. Unless you're in that jump off. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and with the first fence. Perfect, perfect shot, moving shot into the, what's now a double. Oh. Oh. He's going to have to go some, 34.74, he goes to last, he fires it! Oh, no! 34, but the last has gone in a time of 34.65. It was a quicker round, but it had that last fence down. But that was a tremendous performance from John Whitaker in Great Britain with Unique du Francourt, with the four faults, puts him into eighth place. Two to go. Willem Grev still breathing for the Netherlands. Because that round from John Whitaker was quicker than his time. Cool. You can always rely on John to give it everything. Max Kuna, penultimate rider in the Regioni Siciliani Grand Prix for Austria with EIC. Coriolis de Il.
and this little stallion looked very impressive in round one. Son of Emerald. Well, the two fences down, so I'm not going to trouble the leaders. 37.08, but eight volts for Max Kuna for Austria. ERC Coriolis de Il. 34 e 74 lo torna a ricordare a tutti voi. One left to go. Nel premio regione siciliana The world campo, number one corrente. Olympic team gold medalist European Originally a, a European champion from four years ago and a European bronze medalist this year Peter Fredriksson for Sweden on the horse on which he got the recent European medal H&M Christian K Shaving off every bend. <laughs> Rubs it. Still there. This is looking very quick from the world number one. He comes to the last. He flies it. It's clear. 34.68. Peter Fredrickson, the world number one with H&M Christian K. The last in the arena of the 15 in the jump off goes into the lead, takes the Reggiano Siliani Grand Prix here in Verona. What a treat for the crowds. Well, we'll get the results up on the screen, but just before we do, I'll say bye bye and thank you to Alice Watson. And we'll be back on Sunday to bring you the third of the 11 legs of the Western European League of the Longin FEI Jumping World Cup. That's at local time in Italy at 14.15, the third round of the World Cup qualifiers will bring you. But Alice, thanks ever so much for joining us and I will see you Sunday. Peter Fredriksson for Sweden take the big class here in Verona on Friday evening with HMN Kristen K. In second place, Willem Greer with a lovely nine-year-old eight highway MTN. In third, for Colombia, Carlos Enrique Lopez with Admara. Fourth, Sergio Avemore with the wonderful Alamo. And in fifth place, Christian Armand Mondat van der Neerheide for Germany, followed by two other German riders in sixth and seventh. Christian Kuckert with Checker and world number two, Daniel Deusser with Jasmine van der Bischer. In eighth place, Pierce Britcher with double clear with WH Delilah, but in eighth. And then the four falters in the jump off, John Whitaker, the quickest round of the night with Unic du Frankport, but the last Oxer came down. Simon de Lestre with the wonderful Hermes Ram. They won a class last week in Lyon. They were in, finished in 10th place. Kevin Stout, Tolade de Mesquem Harcourt in 11th. Ricardo Pisano with Chaclot in 12th place. Max Kuhner in 13th. Mark McCauley for Ireland in 14th place. And in 15th, Pedro Unquerit Milan with Pembroke. Didn't come forward to the jump off in 16th place Jessica Springsteen with her Olympic ride Don Juan van der Donkover but she qualifies now for the World Cup on Sunday also qualified for the World Cup Ioli Maitilino for Greece Olivia Philipparts for Belgium Kendra Clarissia Brinkoff second consecutive qualifier that she has qualified for at the World Cup 
Also, Zoe Conta will be in the World Cup on Sunday. Julia Gonan, they have qualified this evening in the for the World Cup qualifier on Sunday. So from us in Verona, or rather watching Verona, it's good night and have a great time tomorrow. We look forward to bringing you the Longin FEI jumping World Cup Western European lead third round on Sunday. Bye-bye. Right. Okay. Well done. Thank you very much. Pella's wife yeah. went into the show office just before that mm. and said to show off as before Jumma to make sure he'd qualified for Sunday, got confirmation, then said, OK, he'll jump the jump off, but he won't go for it. <laughs> they can't, they can't, it's... Um, it's not something you can resist as a rider, is it? No. <laughs> um, you, oh, can I get you anything before you go? Um, no. I'm, I'm just aware that you've got... I presume no, you're going straight there now, are you? Yeah. Okay. Are you all right with that bottle of water? Do you want yes. any more? Uh, no, that's great. Okay. I'm going to tidy up in here. I'll look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Yes. And, um, Thank you very and have much. And have a good drive. Thank you. Excellent. And say hi to Rory. And oh, there will be no traffic. You definitely. Go. Which way do you go? I do you go, go A three A three or do you go to Southampton? Um, I I've done it I every way. Go to sort of onto the M A three A three onto the M three and then down through Guildford down that way. Oh, do you? Do you? Sometimes, yeah. Do you? That's okay. Quite fairly direct, or just go down the A fifty four to Winchester. And then Petersfield Siamo in attesa di iniziare la cerimonia di premiazione di questa gara, il premio Regione Siciliana. Ritorneranno in campo i cinque protagonisti che hanno dato vita ad un barrage straordinario, un livello di sport altissimo questa sera qui nel Pala Volkswagen di Fiera Cavalli. Ma proprio per questo lo torno a ricordare, questa sera si festeggia e si festeggia presso l'ingresso a uno di Pala Expo per il Riders Party, tutti i cavalieri e gli accompagnatori sono invitati a partecipare appunto a questo incontro insieme per festeggiare l'edizione 2021 di Jumping Verona, ingresso a uno di Pala Expo. Bene signori, è arrivato il momento di iniziare la cerimonia di premiazione. Le tre gare terminano appunto con il premio Regione Siciliana e la giornata inaugurale del concorso ippico internazionale 5 Stelle 
Jumping Verona 2021 si conclude e si è concluso con un barrage straordinario davanti a tutti proprio nel finale lui è partito per ultimo ma rimane comunque sempre il numero uno vince Peder Fredriksson Adesso ci alziamo tutti in piedi per ascoltare le note dell'inno della Svezia. Well, please be upstanding for the national anthem of Sverige. Vince Peder Fredriksson e lui il numero uno ancora una volta e lo è anche qui a Verona il cavaliere svedese riceve dalle mani di Lucia Di Fatta dirigente generale dell'assessorato regionale allo sport e turismo della regione siciliana naturalmente la coppa insieme al premio che la dottoressa Luigi di, Lu, Lucia Di Fatta sta consegnando ecco qua il premio nelle mani della dottoressa di fatta nelle mani di Peter Fredrickson che vince il premio regione siciliana and the trophy has been presented to the winner Peter Fredrickson and with all the prizes for the winner with H&M Christian K uno dei premi speciali è offerto dall'azienda Tarros e la signora Lucia di Fatta lo consegna insieme alla targa di Fiera Cavalli Verona ma siamo giunti alla seconda posizione quella per l'Olanda di Willem Greve and the second place is for the Netherlands Willem Greve Willem Greve riceve lui ed anche lui naturalmente la coppa il premio offerto dall'azienda Tarros è la targa di scuderia di Fiera Cavalli per la seconda posizione di Highway MTN. Sono veramente molto 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 vicine le prime due posizioni della classifica finale ed ufficiale dove al terzo posto in Sella d'Admara, signori, c'è Carlos Lopez, Colombia. And this is the trophy for the third place for Colombia, Carlos Lopez. Il trofeo, la coppa, il premio speciale offerto dall'azienda Tarros e la targa nelle mani di Carlos Lopez. Quando invece ci spostiamo in Spagna, dove la firma è quella di Sergio Alvarez Moya in Sella d'Alamo. And the fourth place for Alamo. And for Spain, Sergio Alvarez Moya. E così invece andiamo a conoscere la quinta posizione, un altro grande nome dell'equitazione internazionale. Qui a Verona ritorna Christian Allmann per la Germania, in sella mandato van den Heide. And finally the fifth place, Christian Allmann, Germany. Noi ringraziamo naturalmente la dottoressa Lucia Di Fatta, dirigente generale assessorato regionale sport e turismo della regione siciliana. Andiamo ad archiviare l'ultima cerimonia di premiazione. Il giro d'onore finale questa sera lo guida naturalmente lui. Il number one, il numero uno è Peter Fredriksson. Lap of honor time, Peter Fredriksson will lead the lap of honor.
vince Peder Fredriksson, Willem Krev ed è con noi Christian Alman. Well, here is one more time the winner of the big class of today, Peder Fredriksson. Noi signori vi ricordiamo che non è finita qui perché all'interno del Pala Volkswagen tra qualche istante una dei grandi show equestri per quanto riguarda le gare perché questa sera ritorneranno i protagonisti delle squadre che partecipano all'Italian Champions Tour la categoria Gentleman e Sport per le due gare a tempo e speciali vi aspettiamo questa sera tra pochissimo il direttore di campo appena sarà pronto apriremo il campo per la ricognizione quindi rimanete con noi in attesa naturalmente di iniziare ma vi ricordo ancora la festa dei cavalieri questa sera ingresso a uno di Pala Expo di Verona Fiere non mancate Thank you. 